Welcome back, Auburn fans. I hope you are ready for this one because we've got a good one today at Jordan-Hare. And this is a game I think we've all been waiting for for a long time. And this is going to be our toughest home game to date this season uh, against Georgia. You know, we've got the home field advantage, but unfortunately, Georgia is currently ranked number two. And, you know, just to be honest, they look – pretty dang good guys they look pretty fantastic their defense looks unstoppable uh it's going to be tough to get past them uh they've got uh, jordan davis good grief have you seen this guy he looks like the uh, uh if you watch game of thrones he looks like the dang mountain from game of thrones so he is going to be uh, just tough all the way around so jordan davis is going to be one to watch today for georgia but that being said i just uh people have asked me what my honest prediction is for this game because i put something out there just kind of messing around with people i i put some honest stuff in there but at the same time i was uh kind of joking around in the comments and that kind of thing and so people wanted to know what my honest prediction is because i've not actually put it out there yet so i will i'll get to that at the end of the game but i just want to talk about what i'm expecting to see uh, kind of throughout the game, what I expect to see from our running game, passing game, quarterbacks, defense. I'll kind of get to the whole thing. Um, and I'll start with our running game. Um, first of all, I expect Georgia to just completely sell out and try to stop us and not give us an inch uh, we're gonna have to fight for every single yard we get and this will be um, I told you a tough game the toughest game since Georgia State which is a, a little a little sad to say but it's it's gonna be tough and what we do know is Georgia's Georgia's defense is incredible incredible they're great at stopping the run I think across the entire season they've given up a total of 16 points there was another seven points that came from somewhere, but they've only given up a total of 16 points on the defensive side of the ball. They've shut out teams multiple times. There's people who are expecting, um, you know, Georgia to shut out Auburn. I don't think that's going to happen. That's not what I'm expecting at all. But I, I, what I do know is it's going to be tough. It will be a hard game. So for running, I do expect Jarquez Hunter to be the standout running back. I think we will try to put Tank in the game. Uh, Shivers is going to have his role. It could be something similar to what we saw versus LSU. But ultimately, I think Hunter is going to be our guy. He's you know, our leading rusher for the season anyway. And he is, uh, you know, I think he's going to be just an all-time great running back for Auburn. And today will be no different. So however many yards we are able to get. I think a majority of them will be earned by Jarquez. Now, what's going to have to happen for him to even have a chance? Well, we've got to open up some holes for him to run through. Most teams, uh, I was talking with someone, and most teams kind of uh, get the running game going to open up the passing game and make them respect the pass. But for Auburn, as we saw against Georgia State, uh, for Auburn, it's going to be the opposite. We kind of need to get our passing game going, get that short passing game going to open up our running game because everybody knows we love to run. And if they sell out to the run, which Georgia could do, they saw how it affected us in the past. Uh, if they sell out to the run and force us to throw, I don't know how good we're going to do. And so I'm hoping the game plan from Bobo and Harson is that they're going to try to open up that passing game from the get-go and give – Jarquez and Tank and Shivers give them the best possible chance to get out there and bust some big runs. But we'll have to see uh, what happens with that. Next, let's talk about uh, special teams. We struggled in our special teams. Uh, we had one kick blocked. We had one kick missed. One out of three, not great for Carlson. He is going to play a much bigger factor in this game than we've seen in the past because if we can get in field goal range, we're going to take it. Uh, we'd love to get touchdowns, but Georgia is going to make this very, very difficult because uh, th their defense has been unstoppable. And then finally in the passing game, I'm hoping we can find some people to catch the ball and quit dropping it. Um, 
Shanker seems to be our go-to guy at tight end, and I fully expect him to play today and well, I mean he's gonna play, but I fully expect him to make an impact today and be a go-to guy. Uh, the question is, can he get past their linebackers and can he you know can he do some of the stuff he did against LSU? He's not gonna have a hundred yards like he did against LSU but we are going to have to rely on him and we, we may see some of those short uh, passes, those short dumps over the middle, just to try to get something going. Uh, outside of that, the biggest question mark is our quarterback, Bo Nix. Is he actually going to, is, is he actually going to do enough to give Auburn a chance to win this thing? And I'm just, I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not. I don't think the answer is necessarily TJ Finley at the moment, but I'm hoping Bo is settled enough that he can make something happen. His uh, completion percentage is terrible. It's still in the you know 50s or 60s every single time. Yes, there's drop passes that contribute to that, but at the same time, anytime there's a deep ball, he's just moonballing it and throwing it way over guys. And I don't know what the coaches can do to help with that because it just seems like it's it's been constant, it's not getting better, and it doesn't seem to matter how much they coach the guy. He, he can't, he, he, I'm not gonna say can't, but he's not consistent at throwing that deep ball, and it is hurting Auburn greatly. And I, I think today is one of those days where we're gonna need to be able to hit those deep passes as well. Is uh, the other concern I have with Bo Nix, um, outside of his you know accuracy, um, his decision making, he made some questionable decisions against LSU that turned out to be fantastic plays that helped Auburn win the game. I don't think he's going to be able to do that backyard bow stuff necessarily and win the game against Georgia. It could help because it's unexpected and it's hard to plan for, but at the same time, I think Georgia is going to be able to run him down. Jordan Davis is what, 330, 350 pounds? and runs, uh, I can't remember how fast, he's, he's insanely fast. Someone said like, I can't remember how many miles per hour, but he's, he's super fast, super quick, especially for somebody who's uh, between 330 and 350 pounds. So even somebody that big could possibly chase down Bo. So I just think the backyard Bo stuff is not gonna work. I hope I'm wrong, but we will certainly see. Um, going back to the receivers, I mentioned uh, you know our tight end Shanker but we've got to stop targeting Shedrick Jackson so much. That guy dropped so many balls against Penn State, it was insane. Insane, he had stone hands, he couldn't catch anything. Uh, you know, no, I mean, no disrespect, but at the same time, if a guy's struggling like that, stop throwing the ball to him. Try to develop some of these other guys like Capers and Canyon and uh, Malcolm Johnson Jr. Try to get it to some of these other guys who can catch the ball or at least Give them a chance to try to catch the ball. So it should be interesting to see who we end up playing. I know, you know, I know our starters, but let's see who ends up actually playing and ends up getting those receptions, or at least attempted receptions. Um, that's offense on defense. I think a uh, good thing for Auburn is that JT Daniels is not starting, and, and they've got um, – uh, how am I drawing a blank on him? Um, they've got Stetson Bennett. I don't know why I had such a hard time remembering that, but they've got Stetson Bennett and, uh, Auburn struggled against him last year. I think he got 240 yards on Auburn, so it's no cakewalk, but at the same time, he's no JT Daniels. So I think in the passing game, that helps Auburn. The bad thing is, uh, you know, we, like I said, Stetson had no problem with us. The difference for him this year is that Stetson Bennett has not really had a true road test yet. This is gonna be his first true road test. Think about it, last year, he went into his first season as a walk-on and any game he played was under COVID protocol, so there weren't full stadiums. This guy has not had a road game with a loud crowd in his face, making it difficult to do his job. So, I think the, I'll come back to him, but he's not had that. So I think the crowd, the Auburn fans have got to put pressure on Georgia's offense. 
get loud, don't quiet down anytime they're out there on offense. I don't care what the score is. Don't make it any easier for them. Make it difficult. Also, on Auburn's defense, Zacoby McLean, he's going to be a difference maker. He's going to make some good tackles. Uh, we're going to depend on him. So as long as he's healthy and he's playing, I think we're in good shape. Our defensive line is, uh, you know, we've, we've had better in the past, but they're uh, pretty solid overall. And uh, my, my question is still going to be, how do we do in the passing game overall? Can we stop the run? I think we will be able to stop the run pretty well. Will we, will we be able to slow down the passing game? I'm not so sure, and I think that's where Georgia is going to hurt us. I guess my final thoughts on this game is something I just want to leave with anybody who is in the stadium. Anybody. So if you're in the stadium, get loud. Support your team. Do not get quiet anytime Georgia is on the field, on offense. Don't make it easy for them because we're going to need all the help we can get if we're going to have any chance to win this game. No matter what happens, War Eagle, subscribe to this channel, and here's my final prediction for Georgia versus Auburn.